Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I made this jellyfish themed cake. So let's get right to it. I'm starting out with three six inch cakes that I've leveled and cut in half. And I'm going to be stacking those up with some vanilla Swiss meringue buttercream using my small offset spatula. All of the recipes and materials will be linked in the description box below. I ended up only needing half of my third cake, so I've got five layers instead of six, and I just kept the other half for some cake pop batter later on down the road. Once my cake was stacked up, I added a thin layer of buttercream all around the outside, and that's just going to lock in all the crumbs so they don't end up looking all lumpy in my final ice. I let that sit in the fridge for about 25 minutes to firm up, and then once you can touch your finger to the buttercream and none of it comes off, it's ready for the final coat. I'm using two tones of blue buttercream for this cake, a lighter blue and a really dark blue. I'm starting out with the lighter blue on the top and then adding the darker blue to the bottom. Once the whole cake was covered, I grabbed my bench scraper, aka my cake lifter, because it's the biggest thing I had at the moment, and I started to scrape the icing back around the sides, and I just wiped it off between each swipe, and you can see the color starting to blend together a bit. You can see the line between the two looks a little harsh and I wanted it to have more of an ombre effect. So I took a couple blobs of my darker buttercream and went around and then added a couple blobs of my light, just trying to break up the color a little bit. And you can see when I scrape it back, the transition is a lot nicer. It doesn't look so stark. It took me a little finagling to get the final look, but this is what I ended up with. And normally all that buttercream that accumulated on the very top edge of my cake, I would scrape that into the middle to get a nice even finish, but I actually wanted to leave that the way it was because I thought it added a nice texture. I let this sit in the fridge for about 20 minutes to chill and then I grabbed my silver Rolcom luster dust and mixed that with a little bit of food grade alcohol and I brushed that along the top edge of my cake. I also splattered a little bit of that silver around my cake. My camera unfortunately died while I was doing this step. All I did was just brush my thumb over the bristles, pointing them at the cake and just worked my way around. To paint my bubbles, I used a fine tip paintbrush and I also grabbed some white food coloring gel. My cake was chilled for this step. You don't want the buttercream to be really soft, otherwise it's not really gonna work out. It's just gonna be all mushy and weird. So I started out with these C looking shapes and then I did big ones and small ones and some of them together. So I started out with the one line and then I dragged the color a little bit into the center just using a stippling motion. You want the white to be more transparent for this part because as you can see, I'm adding dots of really concentrated white food coloring gel to the top corner and that's gonna give it like the catch light that you would see in a bubble. And this is what it looked like when the bubbles were done. You can see mixed with that splatter of silver on there, it really does give it an underwater effect. I thought it turned out super cool. For the jellyfish, I have this template that I will link below. I cut away the head and then rolled out some white fondant and cut out three of those. For the dangly bits, I cut out these strips of white fondant that were tapered at the ends and then place those on top of my foam mat and using a balling tool, I just thinned out the edges a bit. For the stingers or the lapettes, I think they're called, I took more of my white food coloring on my paintbrush and just drew these really faint looking lines all the way down to the bottom. I stuck my strips of fondant right in the center with the fatter end underneath the jellyfish head and then just give them a little more shape by bringing out a couple parts and coiling it down. I then took another slightly larger version of the jellyfish head and placed that over top. This is gonna give it more of a 3D look and then just made sure that they were overlapping and you couldn't see that bottom head poking out. You can also see that I scored a couple lines into my jellyfish head using my fondant tool. 
I know jellyfish head isn't like the correct term. It's like a bell or I think everything's in there, like the stomach, all the good stuff, but we're just gonna go with jellyfish head. I had three on this cake and I wanted to make them look a little bit different from each other. So I took more of my white food coloring and mixed in a little bit of pink, purple and yellow food coloring gel. And then I just painted these guys however I thought looked cool. I just added some lines for texture and then brought that down the tentacles a little bit and just tried to make it look a little more interesting than just the flat white. And this was the final result guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm trying to do a couple more buttercream type cakes because I know you guys asked for it. So hopefully this was right up your alley. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for new videos every week.